Haley were. So, what I got for you is. Um, Somebody's gonna go up and leave the moon. Or maybe they're not even canoeing. Maybe they're camping. I don't know what they're gonna be doing. The main thing is um, there's gonna be a waterfall nearby um, at this place. And I feel like people, somebody, you guys should be, whoever's gonna be there should just be really, really careful. Because that is a dangerous, but like, it's a bit of a place that's dangerous. I was going camping as a kid, but I'm not saying, like, nothing happened to anybody. I'll just guess what I got. Just be really careful. Like, if you got kids going with you, make sure you keep a good eye on them. Maybe you'll find a treasure in it. I was just glad to pay attention to the waterfall edge of the of the whatever. You know how they have the waters and they go down like that. You only probably see it in a movie most of the time. But it wasn't like nobody was going to fall over it or anything. But I was just saying be careful because that's what I was just kept seeing. Just the waterfall. Could be a treasure under the waterfall. It could be a cave. But all I know is going to be something going on with that waterfall. So my first thing is to say to be careful around it. Be careful. That's all. But the waterfall. The waterfall. It means something. It was pretty too. It was like trees out of, um, sticking out of it. But you know, those things are dangerous. So normally you don't canoe around those, right? I didn't see a canoe, but I did see all those pretty ladies with water running off. Mm -hmm. Whatever that means. Just be careful. That's the advice I say. Universe, God. Believers today. Some advice, some inspiration, some encouragement. For me, no such spirit today. Because you know I'm always back. I always be coming back. Oh, so big, like, excuse me, it seems like I never, they never get broken in. We call the leader. Moth spirit. Surrender now. Moth spirit X, what is guiding you right now? Are you in alignment with spirit or pursuing something or someone with so much tenacity? Tenacity. That it has become a compulsion or addiction. 
or opportunity that you can't think straight. Work hard. Hard work and dedication are virtues. And love, of course, is a beautiful thing. However, when moth spirit appears, it's time to consider if you have gone over the edge. Over the edge. <laughs> is that what the... <laughs> Over the edge. Are you going over the edge? Oh, you're over the edge. It's just like so that's why it was up the cliff. Water going over the edge. You're over the edge. Okay, I'm sorry. I just had to tell a moment like ah, that's what over the edge is. You might not even be going to the canoe place. You might just be a little on edge, a little over edge. Okay. Back to that in a minute. You have gone over edge in a relentless pursuit. Workaholism, overheating, perfectionism, or addiction to certainty, or even to a person, maybe your current vice. The form of your addiction does not matter so much as awareness of the consciousness consciousness of remaining persistent when moderation is needed. Let go of your excessive energy by channeling it in a more than one direction. The fire burns hot. And you do not want to be engulfed by your passion to the exclusion of all of the other pursuits that matter to you. Now's the time for surrender and radical acceptance so that your drive does not cause you to flee or flight. Spirit wants you to release the need for certainty and control so that you can relax into a more balanced way of using your moth spirit energy. Banish the shoulds and musts so that you can enjoy what is and allow and uh what 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 is enjoy what is as you allow for what might be surrender somebody so maybe somebody are some are maybe somebody is going to hang out by those type of waterfall edges but I just think that signify, uh, was basically signaling that somebody is on the edge or over the edge. Okay. All right. So let's see what kind of messages we get today. Sorry. So let's see what messages we got for you today. Got what do we got for the sign of Libra today? You need three cards for the page. Okay. I wasn't done checking. Three cards for the future. But it was our current future or outcome. Future or advice. It was the two of swords and the eight of cups. So, I feel like some of you could be um, at a crossroads right now where you are between um, walking away from something or someone or not. I feel like you don't know if you should. Are you waiting on the answer or sign? Need some clarity? So let's get three cards out here for the past. Uh, eight of Cups. Walking away, just like I was just saying. Two more cards for the past. Two more cards for the past. The six of cups, the king of cups, three cards for the current. <laughs> There's the two swords, they both end up coming out. Uh, two more cards for that. Seven of Swords.
too many came out. I got the death card with another one up, right? Yeah, that's too many. We need one. One more for current. One more for the current energy. The Libra. One more for the current energy. One more for the current energy. Well, it gave us two. We'll take the two. The Moon card. And the Queen of Pentacles. Three cards for the outcome. Three cards for the outcome. Eight of Pentacles. Two more cards for the outcome. Two more cards. Seven of Pentacles. And five of Cups. So, can we get some clarifications out here? We're going to get some clarifications out here. First, let's go over this. Eight of Cups, walking away. Six of Cups, the past, the feeling nostalgic about the past. And the King of Cups. A person who is emotionally intelligent. Or it could be a water sign. Uh, a Pisces, a, Cor uh, a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. Um, so in the past, I'm feeling like you could have to walk away from somebody. Somebody from the past could have been a water sign. Um, he could have been he or she could have been possibly um I don't know, maybe giving somewhere else. And I say that because um you see how this in this eight of cups, it's eight cups, right? But you see how that one how well they got the five here, but do you see how let me start over. Do you see how in the six of cups they got those four little cups at the bottom? Or do you see how in this effect the four cups is three? Do you see how in this card he got one? This man is walking away. Probably taking that one cup. And here's that little moon up there. Like in the moon card, the unknown. Maybe that's why you're walking away. Because you that's why I said for some of you could have been a king. Of cups or a queen of cups, could have been a woman, could have been a man. Water sign don't have to be somebody, could have been taken out of the household, taken out of you know what y'all built, given to somebody else. Could have been and gotta be okay. Let's just clarify eight of cups for the Libra, eight of cups for Libra, eight of cups for Libra, and that's the reason you lost the way for some of you. Could be to somebody. Somebody. How many cards is this? Five. Man, that's too many. I'm sorry. It's too many. I can't take five cards. Eight of cups. Eight of cups for Libra. Eight of cups for Libra. Eight of cups for Libra. The page of wands. The seven of wands. And the four swords. It 
So in the past, he walked away from some immature sexual behavior, possibly. Like I said, somebody could have been given to another household, given more than just money, given more than just time, given a little passion. Could have been, could have not been. Um, feeling like you have the higher ground to stand up and fight for something. Stand up, stand up and fight for walking away because it's immature passion energy. You're going to take a rest, walk away, retreat from the whole situation. Withdraw your energy, retract yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me. This could have been a marriage. Somebody could have stepped out on a marriage here. And that's why you're leaving. That's why the page of wands could be here to say that there was a immature uh, act of passion happening here. There you go, Mommy. Thank you, huh? Those are all my dollars. All right. Thank you. Okay, so here. I'm not taking those because. I didn't get to ask nothing yet. So, what we got here on the Six of Cups? Judgment. The judgment call made in the past. What's this judgment call? For Libra. Alright. They five cards, but I'm only going to take it because when I put it back, that card that flipped was the devil card in there. So, I feel like it just needs to come out. So, um, we have the devil card. Somebody's got toxic behavior. And, yeah, um, Queen of Wands. Is holding that wine. Somebody's doing something to her with that wine. Some toxic cheating behavior. You um did some research, got um obtained some knowledge, gained some clarity, and you manifesting your way out of that situation. The King of Cups, please. This is King of Cups. Yeah, the King of Wands. Oh, he's somebody else, huh? He's somebody else, too. The Empress. Could be somebody pregnant. And you walking away for real. That's the Eight of Cups twice. Somebody you walking away from. Somebody that got somebody pregnant. Somebody's married or some it's a it's a lot it's a lot going on here. Somebody's walking away. Let's get two of swords here. Somebody's feeling like they're at a crossroad. They need strength. They, but they need to go. Well they need the strength to move forward. What's this chariot? From some deceptive behavior, secrets. And now I'm wondering now, yeah, let's see, you move forward from some deceptive behavior, secrets, and possibly a pregnant woman, taking your, your money and you're leaving, going to you do your own thing with your own money, you can have um, you could be financially set here. You don't have to be a woman. You could be a man too. It's this chariot. Ten of Pentacles. You're getting out of there. You, you're leaving this marriage behind.
You could be the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles could be the person. I mean, yeah, we, of course, you know you're a Libra or a crosswalker is Libra, but whoever is a Libra here, we, you can embody energy. We all know that. Let me clarify this Seven of Swords, this deceptiveness. conflicted as well you had a crossroads to because you're married to this person and you love them but you know this is wrong and you want to get the hell on because you know you don't deserve that you actually don't deserve that it's deceptiveness you mentally imprisoned about it the deceptive behavior what's this eight of eight of swords what's this mental imprisonment This age of swords, men are imprisonment. Options or illusion. I feel like it's options. Oof. That flew out of there. You don't want this commitment no more. Somebody got options, so you getting out. Setting upon a new. You ain't you making it a decision to go somewhere else to get out of there. What's this one card? Fast communication. Recording some secrets. An Ace of Cups. That's weird. That's weird. Or leave, are you leaving a relationship and getting a new one? What is this? Is somebody leaving a relationship and getting into a new one? Fast. Let's see if they own secrets. Now you think somebody's leaving fast to get you in a relate get into a relationship. What's this ace of cups? Oh the five of sorry y'all. The five of pentacles. What is this ace of cups? Somebody's feeling left out in the cold. Somebody's sending in fast messages and fast communication about how they love you and they miss you and they feeling left out in the cold with you for some of you. What's this Ace of Cups? But they love you so much. It's making you a little conflicted. Sending you in hanging man mode. Thinking, 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 thinking. Wait, at a crosshair, that's a lot of thinking here. But you'd like, ah, uh, no. You want some stability. You want some stability. What's this queen of pitifuls here? You broke your heart. What's this three of swords? Three of swords. Three of swords. Three of swords. Keeping their secrets about a queen of pentacles. So you are the queen of wands. So your marriage is back here. And right here, you ain't, uh-uh. you like, no, I'll be with you. Go be with this bitch. Go be with that motherfucker. Go on, go on. Be a, uh-uh. What's this queen of pentacles? What's this queen of pentacles? Queen of pentacles. The second Queen of Pentacles on the top. Remember that first part was Queen of Pentacles too. Uh, yep. The one he gave the offer to. Well, the one he cheated with. The one he got emotions for. The one whatever, whatever, whatever. Somebody got emotions here for Queen of Pentacles. What's this Knight of Cups? Somebody made an offer behind your back or something. Yep. Yep. It, caught, it was, yeah, something, yeah. Uh. Yeah, somebody met me. I'm building some other shit or something. Oh, yeah. He done built a whole new home somewhere else. Or she. What the heck is this? The hell is it? What? That's way too much. 
Oh uh, yeah, but I'm gonna keep it because that's basically somebody. This is so. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It's better to know though, right? I want to be lied to. Tell the moment. The death card. Putting an end to it. The justice card. And moving away to calmer waters. This could be a you could be moving somebody this could be moving safe here. Somebody could be taking a new offer somewhere in a whole new state and getting like far away from here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um you person these um this person could have kids. You could have kids with this person, or this person could have kids with you. And you decided that you're gonna back up and you're gonna move to a whole new state and it costs a tower moment for this person. Let's see this eight of pentacles in the future or advice column. That's too many. Eight of temperance. Temperance. Bringing in a working hard, bringing in the balance. What's temperance part? Bringing in the balance. What's temperance? What's the temperance part? What's the temperance part? What's temperance? Bringing in the balance. I'm letting go. The baggage. Hold on. To some happiness. Holding on to trying to stay balanced. Holding on to working hard. Yeah, we got, um, I feel like you're holding on tightly to probably work. Could be holding on tightly to your happiness. Holding on tightly to what a person done to you. Um, holding on tightly to something. Just don't be holding on too tightly. Let's find out. What's this for a pinnacle? What's this for a pinnacle? What's this for? Hold on tightly to try and stay balanced. Trying to keep your sanity. After all this, that's the person all the person can't hold on to. Heck. Or maybe you hold on. Cause some of you could be holding on grudge for a person you give to two. But now they wanna try to come in and be with you again. And you look it back and it's too much it's too much it's too much water under the bridge here. That's for some of you. Yeah, the lover's card. You're looking back. You're passionate about this person. You really love this person. Felt like they were your soulmate. It could be your soulmate. Could forgive him. Who knows? Maybe not. What's this? This night of wands. Because he was. Well, now he won't come back in here tonight. Is that what that is? You're taking. We got the lovers here. Could have been dealing with a Gemini. Somebody come in. Probably trying to get something from you, I guess. I don't know. You just, I don't know. Feeling jealous. Trying to slick you up, pull a little slick rule on you, but you got the star car here. You're enlightened. Let's see what the star card is. You're celebrating. You celebrating putting this behind you. This is looking back, hard, uh, taking account. And there's that little one pinnacle you always just holding on to it, getting right, getting out of there. 
that you're taking yourself. Over here is you. You leave him behind. This lover's. You leaving this marriage or whatever this is behind. You leaving the passion behind. Somebody's jealous. Somebody's mad. You're celebrating. You're enlightened. You're happy and healing. Pouring back into yourself. Trying to love yourself. What's this five of cups here? Still maybe sad, thinking about what could have been, what would have been. Yeah. You're um still a little in prison in your mind, thinking, oh well, sometimes you know. You know, just because you sometimes you spend have so many memories, you know. And you could be being inflicted, but you're coming out of anxiety and you're gonna figure this out. Yeah, you're going to use your intuition to guide yourself. You're going to heal yourself. Stay enlightened. Move forward. Keep in balance. And everything's going to work out. King of Swords. Stand in your truth. Being fair to yourself and balance within yourself. Anything else? Cards right over now. There ain't no more cards about in here. But some quick hook, you know. Putting in the hard work. Being single. Looking good. Maybe you want to get married again someday. You wait on somebody that I love you correctly. I'm just waiting. <laughs> but it's going to come. It will. Dang, I hate that this wasn't such a happy reading, but that's just the message. I'm just the messenger, so I pray that all is well with you guys, and that you get through this as best as you can, and just love yourself first. Take time with yourself, be patient with yourself, because we all make mistakes. And life always has to hurt sometimes. You know, it's not ever always peaches. So, just hear all your lessons. And at some point, now y'all don't want to hear this right now. But at some point, you'll be grateful for going through what you go through. Through life to get you where you're going. Okay? Because there's one door closed. Something greater is going to open for you. That's always absolutely true.